Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today I'm going to be sharing my approach to working out. And this video was brought to you by Ritual. This right here, in this little bag, is protein powder. And a little secret, I have been taking protein powder for about 20 years because I don't eat a lot of meat and I work out a lot. I'm always trying to grow muscle. So let's go back to my first year of university. I was studying classics and art history. And at the time, I was a very skinny teenager and I will openly admit that as I started seeing the statues of classic Greek marble, male figures, Roman bronzes, even paintings of Jesus where he had a six pack, I thought, you know, I want to look like that. And it was my first year of university. So I set this goal for myself to start going to the gym, to start working out and to start to change the shape of my body. It's vain, yes, but you know, it starts that way and very often if you take it seriously and if you figure out a healthy way to approach working out, it changes. It goes from focusing on the body to actually focusing on your mind. Now, while I was working out, I was told over and over and over that I needed to eat a certain amount of food to be able to put on muscle mass but I just physically couldn't eat that much food. It was making me sick. So I discovered that another way of filling gaps in my diet was protein powder. I love Ritual because they have a very high standard for supplements. Their protein powder, it not only tastes great and is sugar-free, but it's also completely vegetarian. It's made from peas that are grown in the United States, and it's rigorously tested for heavy metals because that is something that people don't really know about. That sometimes the soil that the peas are grown in have metals in them. So I've had a lot of protein powders over the years and this has been my choice because of uh, how high quality it is. Now, this video is not a video where I am going to teach you how to work out. I am not a professional coach. I take this stuff very seriously working out and I would advise anyone that's inspired to work out or even change their workout routine to find a certified guide, coach, teacher to actually show you the ins and outs of working with your body in the gym. What I do want to share with you today is my personal approach to working out. I do believe that half of working out is what's happening in your mind. And when I'm at the gym, there's a catharsis that's taking place. I feel like I'm getting stronger physically, but I'm also getting stronger mentally. When I set a challenge for myself, can I lift this one more time? I say to myself, you can. You can do it. Do it properly. And then when I actually do it, and it's difficult, I feel like in a very small way that I've actually achieved something. This is a technique that I've been working on in my mind for decades. And it applies not only in the gym, but in everything else. Watercolor painting, pottery, playing the harp, playing the piano. I was very lucky to have really good people teach me how to work out. And at this point in my life, 20 years after I first started working out, I don't have a trainer anymore, I don't have a coach, I self-guide my workouts at the gym. Before I head off to the gym, I always pack my gym bag. I have my clothes that I'm going to change into in the, in, at the gym. I have my workout gloves, which I love because they help you grip things, but there's also, they just feel sexy when you're wearing cutoff gloves. Just, I'm just going to just admit everything to you. And I also always put the protein powder in a little mason jar. So I take a scoop out of here, I put it in the mason jar, small mason jar. I don't like to use plastic, you know what I mean? 
at the end of my workout, I just open this up, put some water in it from the water fountain, shake it up, and then I have it immediately at the gym. The very, very, very first thing for me when I arrive at the gym, and my gym is five floors, is take the stairs. So I always take the stairs at the gym, five stories up and five stories down. And at this point, because I take the stairs so often everywhere, I'm not out of breath when I run up five flights of steps. So that's something that I, that I am very conscious of. I say to myself, hey you, if you're gonna take an hour, five or six times a week to go to the gym, why not incorporate small aspects of working out in your everyday life, like taking the stairs? If I'm lifting a weight off the rack to take it over to the machine, I carry it with my non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, and the instinct might be to take the weight off the rack and to hold it with my right hand, but I don't do that. I realize, hey, I do a lot of things with my right hand, while I'm carrying this weight, carry it with my left hand over to the machine because that walk to the machine is in itself helping the workout. It's making this non-dominant hand stronger. Tiny things, they all add up. Lifting weights to me is something that I've had a lot of advice on over the years from different people. And for me personally, the thing that I've learned is to use a full range of motion. So if I'm doing a curl, I can do this, but really what is so much more effective is if I extend my arm fully and, and lift up slowly, and at the top when I'm holding it, to actually hold it and to squeeze. That is, with those reps, is so much more difficult and challenging than just quickly doing this, where there's a lot of momentum. It's so much more important for me to do a motion properly, slowly, and completely than to just reach a certain number of reps. There's no point to doing things at the gym if you're not doing them properly and effectively, and you really can hurt yourself. Sometimes I learn things from watching someone do something a certain way, and then I emulate that, knowing how to use my, my body to do it safely. But I also see people doing things in a bad way, and that I use constructively to remind myself, hey, don't do that. One of the things that I see at the gym and I not only see this, but I hear this, is people dropping weights. They lift something, and then they just let go, and these heavy weights crash to the ground. And then I usually hear some kind of grunt, like a Ugh! Now, this may make that person feel really good, that they lifted this thing up, and they threw it to the ground, and they grunted. It reminds me of someone from the Stone Age, like Fred Flintstone character. That's just personally me. What that does to me is it reminds me of how much more powerful and effective it is to put something down slowly and quietly with no sound. It is so much harder to take a heavy weight and to gently put it on the ground without making a sound than it is to just drop it from here. And in the act, of lowering something and putting it down to the ground, you're actually doing half of the exercise. That, that motion is half of the exercise, which people are missing out on when they drop things. And my approach has, has been very effective, mentally and physically. I will share with you that in my private life, there have been selfies that have been taken over the years there's a sort of unspoken courting ritual that happens digitally sometimes, and these selfies have come in very handy. I will share some of them with you right now. You know, this, what the selfies do is they help me realize, yay, yeah, that goal that you had 20 years ago of looking like a Greek or Roman statue or a granite chiseled statue of Vishnu, 
It's actually happened. It's materialized. Find clothes that you feel really good in at the gym. I want to look good at the gym. I want to pass myself in the mirror and go, damn boy, you five. So, so that's something that is not lost on me. The, my clothes aren't anything fancy. They're just a, like an undershirt and a nice old comfortable pair of shorts. But I, I do feel like if you find the clothes that you feel good in, that really helps. I go to the gym five to six times a week for an hour. I lift weights. I use the machines and then I run on the treadmill for five minutes at the very end. And when I'm running on the treadmill, that's when I listen to my music. I listen to MS Subulakshmi, who is a classical South Indian singer from like the 1940s to the 1960s. What I love is that no one can hear what I'm listening to because if people heard what I was listening to, image would be shattered, which doesn't matter, but it's a personal little secret that's happening in my head. <laughs>
always feel good about myself because this, this is what has become stronger over the years. That's the liberating thing about working on your body and your mind. That's my approach to working out, something that I love doing, that I've been doing for 20 years now, and I'm really pleased and proud to be partnering with Ritual on this video. Many of you have asked me for my workout routine. Here it is, brought to you by the brand of protein powder that I love. Thank you, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. Thank you all for watching. If you would like to sign up for Ritual's uh, combined programs, check out the description of this video for a link to Ritual and promos using a specific promo code that's associated with me.